and welcome back to my channel, Backlog Gaming Junkie here, and we're gonna do another run of Strafe, this old school looking first person shooter with some roguelike elements, and the first thing we do is we choose a weapon to start our run with. I have not chosen any other weapon except for the shotgun, which I thoroughly enjoy because you can get up close and just go kablammo on people. Anyway, yeah, if you like what you see here, give it a thumbs up. We're going to try for maybe, how about 10 likes on this video? You know, I'm a new guy on a new channel. And that likes would help me out here a little bit. And if you really like my content, consider subscribing. Let's get on with death and carnage. And here, this guy is always waiting for us, greeting, greeting us at the front door. Oh boy, let's see, uh, nothing back here, right? No, I don't think there's anything back here. There never is. Man, this place is so loud and noisy. Yeah, shoot that guy. There's nothing that comes out of it. Uh, let's just, uh, yeah, hide behind the window there. No, let's just continue on. Oh, here we go. Here comes the bad boys. Yeah, shoot them. Shoot them good. Alright, uh, so we got a, a weapon already there. Well, we'll pick that up in a minute. I want to clear the area first. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I do like the concept of this game, and I like the old school looking graphics. It really reminds me of the old days. The old good old days of shooters. Okay, which way are we going to go here? It does seem like I have never seen the same layout once, so it is indeed procedurally generated, for the most part. Okay, here. Oh, man. Sometimes I forget to reload, and then it's click. Click, click. Oh, no. Alright, let's peek around the corner here. Uh, should we get the gun? Yeah, let's get the gun. Uh, I usually use the laser thing to pick off stuff on the ceiling from far away if we need to. Alright, here we go. Get that guy. Yeah, so this is a kind of an easy start. Alright, so there's our machine to uh, start getting our ammo and armor stuff once we have enough money. Alright, so let's just continue on. Shooting, shooting. And. Oh, no, I'm not gonna get down there. Alright, let's go upstairs. Now, of course, there's more baddies up here. Of course. I wonder how far I can get this time, because last time I am just so bad at this game. This game really kicks my ass. Oh, I hate these guys with the weapons. And the robots, they're also not that great. They just don't seem to miss. Oh man, okay. Shoot that guy. Oh. Alright. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so this is definitely kind of a cool game just to start. Oh, here, see? Here comes the robot. It's a cool game just to uh, have some mindless shooting fun. It's always kind of cool run and gun just try a few rounds here and there you know I don't play this for hours on end but it is definitely a cool little time waster now there's a guy on the ceiling up there I'll have to get him at some point oh wow okay that was a little frightening okay here's another one of those guys oh he got me luckily we still have 84 armor Oh man, those robots, they're stuck. Okay, help. Help, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay, here we go. Gosh, sometimes you just can't aim right. Okay, here comes something else. Another one. Alright, there we go. Get back up there. Yeah, and so, did anyone catch the Destiny 2 reveal? Wow, that was pretty cool. I've actually never played Destiny before. I do have it on PS4, but 
I, uh, I really, really am horrible with first-person shooters on a controller. I just can't do it. I'm just a mouse keyboard kind of guy. I, uh, old school. Old school like this game from 1996. You know, I just, uh, something about first-person shooters and a controller with the strafing mechanism and then trying to look with the uh, right stick. Nope, it's just not for me not comfortable. It just feels very unnatural and therefore I guess it's just one of those things I just can't do. Unfortunately. But yeah, as far as uh, first person shooters on a console with a controller, nah, it's just not for me. I can barely do this. And uh, you know, I, I think I do a fairly good job. This is a little bit different than I think your average shooter, they, the density of these monsters here packed in such a small environment are quite uh, intense. But I think the idea is still true that, you know, your accuracy seems to be a little more improved when you have mouse keyboard access. It does feel a little jerky. I do know that if I was playing on a, a console on a controller, I would be constantly either looking up or I'd be strafing incorrectly. I don't know. I just have never been able to really wrap my mind, my head around running and gunning with a controller in a first person shooter game. No, just can't do it. Never have liked it. That's probably why I don't really play a lot of first-person shooters. Um, I would have loved to get into the Halo series over the years, you know, the past decade. There's been a ton of Halo um, games out there, and the story from what I remember... Oh, okay, here we go. A whole horde of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna run back, get them in a corridor here. See if we can pick them off one by one. Can't forget to reload there. Alright, let's see if we can get the rest of these dudes. Oh man, I'm getting cornered. I'm gonna jump over them. Go back down the corridor. It's kinda hectic when you're like in panic mode and you're not sure where to go. You kinda have to remember where everything is. Uh, there was a food thing on the wall. Gotta remember where that is. So I can keep my health up. But yeah, I would have loved to play Halo, um, but of course it was on 360 and obviously with controller, and I was like, nope, no can do. And now this whole Destiny thing, which is pretty pretty cool. Um, I I like I said before, I have Destiny on PS4. Ah, oh, what hit me? Okay. Oh, that guy dropped from the ceiling. Ah, oh, you. Badass. Why didn't I see you? Okay, here we go. Oh, click, click. See, that's what I'm saying. I always have to remember to reload. Here we go. Yeah, so I have on PS4 Destiny and with the add-on. I think it was called Taken King. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It's down there. Yeah, too bad. Never played it. But I am ever so hopeful that the PC version of Destiny 2 will be kick-ass and playable for the average dirty casual such as myself. So we will be looking forward to that come September. Unfortunately, I think uh, they did say that the console release is going to be first before the PC release. It makes kind of sense because... Uh, you know, I think on console or on PC they deal with piracy and so I think they want to get their money's worth first out of the console version before putting, putting it all uh, out there on PC. Also, it would make sense that to not release the PC version first because of data mining and for those of you that don't know what data mining is, it's basically code that they can actually look into basically the code 
of what kind of weapons there are, what kind of, you know, content is in the game, and say if they really botch the release and the content on console, and people are like, hey, this game really sucks. They don't want people being able to data mine that information prior to the entire release of the game because then no one will buy it if they know, oh, this is gonna suck. Look what kind of weapons they got. Look what kind of content there is because, you know, they can totally exploit and open up the PC code to see what the content is. And I, I don't think they can do that on the console or not as easy or whatever the case. So that's something they want to keep hidden. So they would rather sell bunch of console versions first before uh, the people on PC get to data mine and see all the goodies that are hiding inside the game or lack of because you just don't know. This is a big production and uh, hopefully it will be a good game but there's always that chance that it won't be. Anyway so this is something to look forward to. Destiny 2 coming out in September. I'm looking forward to it. I've never actually played it, like I said, so it'd be something new for me, and uh, I can't wait to experience it. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Just two rooms. I guess that's where those whole, all those baddies came from earlier, the whole train of them. Alright, let's get out of this room. See where we gotta go. Up here somewhere is a route we need to take. I'm not sure where this is going to lead to. Got to look constantly vertically. That's another challenge of this game. It's kind of neat where peop people or monsters drop down from the top. So it's always like you always have to be careful where you're running. You can't just blindly run in into something. It is kind of uh, pretty neat how they incorporated these roguelike situations into first-person shooters. And another another roguelike game that I, I think I'm gonna try out, uh, I think it's fairly new, it's called, it's called Dead Cells. And it looks kind of like a platform game. I picked it up on uh, G2A, for those of you we don't know what G2A is. It's a, I guess, a third-party uh, website that sells Steam keys. Now, obviously, some people they, you know, people have mixed opinions on the legitimacy of third-party, you know, resell resellers for Steam keys, but. I, uh, I have used GTA quite often, and it's a good way to get cheap games if, you know, I'm on a budget. And so, if you're on a budget, this is a great place to get some games. But yeah, I got it on GTA. I think on Steam it's $16 for Dead Cells, and I got it for 9 on GTA, so... I think I'm gonna try that game out because I kind of I like the idea of a roguelike, but yet. Oh, let's get this guy from the wall. Kablam! There he goes. And what is that thing? What is that thing in the middle of the room? I'm kind of afraid to step on it. It's like an elevator, and then it's red up top. I wonder if it would crush me if I got in there. Yeah, let's just not go over here and get this thing. Uh, shoot that. Shoot that right off the wall. Yeah, see, I'm not sure I want to go up there. That's kind of dangerous looking. There you go. Yeah, so yeah, anyway, so I got Dead Cells from G2A for nine bucks. I, and it looks kind of like a, a platform Metroid Castlevania, Castlevania kind of thing, platformer, with roguelike elements. Looks really cool. I want to try it. I definitely want to give it a go. Even though, yes, I don't know how 
well I will do in that game, but it does sound kind of fun. Just like this. This is uh, very challenging for me, but I'll probably not get far. This is, I think, uh, still level 1.1, I believe it's called. I think that's how they numerically call these levels. 1.1, 1 1.2, etc. Man, there are so many baddies. I don't know if I should get in there. Is that a healing pool? What is that? I don't know. I'm, I'm just afraid to try it. Otherwise, the run would be over very swiftly if I died. Got four armor left and 86 health. Kind of have to preserve... I guess the armor for further down this run, because I, I don't know how far we're going to get. And that's the problem with a game like this, there's not a lot of health pickups. I mean, there's no health pickups, it's just food. You find a food uh, vending machine, whatever it's called, on the wall. There's only like three or four, I think, per machine, per level. Oh, I hate that thing, we're going to kill that quickly. Oh my gosh, kill it! Oh, jeez. Stupid acid, I swear. I'll get back over there and see if I can get it with the laser. Get around the corner here, right there. Yeah, we got it. Oh, good. Okay. okay. Oh, jump out. Jump out. Don't stand in it. Wow, all that. We went from 86 or whatever to 69 health. Guess we better run back. Get the food on the wall here. And there's two food left. Let's just take it all. Probably won't return here anyway. Alright. So, there we go. Get back up there where we came from. Yeah, this, these levels are pretty, uh, man, look at that. I don't know what that is. I don't think I'm going to uh, dare step on that thing for now. And if it's a health pool or whatever it's called, that would really suck. That I didn't get to try it, but I'm just afraid that that's going to be... I'll have to try it another time. If I ever find one. I just don't feel like dying right now yet. Oh my gosh, these guys, these, sometimes they're difficult to kill. Look at this guy. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, th these type of games with roguelike elements, I mean, you're always sitting on the edge of your chair. You just don't know what's going to come around the corner and kill you. And that's the problem, because there's no save location, there's no save file. You can't just pick up where you left off. Okay, so we got that guy. Probably shoot this. Oh, we got a bazooka on the ground. Let's shoot this thing. I bet we're... I hope we don't alert anybody. Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh. I just keep thinking somebody's sneaking up. Oh! See? I knew it. I thought I heard something. Okay, so nobody else is coming. Seems like it's, as long as you keep shooting the chest, the, the scrap keeps coming out. Okay. No, don't waste ammo on that. Okay, so there's two or three guys down there. Okay, he's coming. Oh, here he is. Alright, so let's see what else is down there. I think there are only two or three more. The end should be near here. The end is in sight, I think. I mean, how much longer can this level go on for? Alright, got that one. Okay, here we go. 
And I wonder how many secrets I have missed. I don't think I've found one secret in the whole entire time I've done... Let's see, how many runs now? Maybe three or four that I've played so far? I don't think I've ever found a secret. I don't even know what to look for. Like if there's an indication on the wall, like a cracked wall or something, I don't know. Well anyway, here's the end of this particular level. Let's see if we can go back. I don't think we had any more food left. Or maybe we should look at the armor, see if we need to. Yeah, see, there's no food left. Okay. Nope, never mind. I guess we don't even need to look at that. See, now I'm lost. I don't know where to go. Let's see. That's a the thing. These, these levels are pretty large. And everything kind of, like, blends together. It's difficult to distinguish where you are. Okay, so there's a machine. I don't even think I have enough money. Yeah, I have them. Okay, we'll just create that. I don't think it's gonna help us all that much. Give us 20 armor. I guess it's better than nothing. Might as well spend your money before you die and lose it. So let's make our way back to the uh, exit there into the next area. See, I just, I just don't want to jump on that platform. I don't know what it does. I'm afraid... We'll try it next time. Well, there's our time, the amount of kills we did. Level 1.1. 78 kills. Zero secrets, of course. I never find any secrets. I guess I just don't know what to look for. Again, I'm just the most dirty of dirty dirty casual gamer. Don't know nothing. Just play 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 as a dirty casual. That's that's just kinda how I always look at all games. Just just for fun. Oh boy. We got a whole bunch of oh my gosh, they're coming at me. Oh, there's nowhere to run. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at all these dudes. Okay, this, I think we're going to be dead very shortly. Oh, reload. Wow. Okay. Well, that sucks. Right at the start, and of course you have nowhere else to run to. Oh, the acid spitting thing. We got to take care of that sucker. I don't think we can hit it from here. Nope, we can't hit it from here. Well, this thing keep spitting acid out, and pretty soon we're not going to be able to jump over any of it. We got 43 health, no armor. Yeah, I think we, uh, I think this is the end of the line for us. Oh my gosh, we're going to get hit again. 39 health, no way to heal. I have a feeling, uh, this is going to be it. This is it, boys. This is the final stand. And I think, let's see if, we, maybe we can jump over there. To the left, okay. See if we can at least, oh there's a guy on the ceiling there too. Oh what's that noise? Let's see if we can kill this acid thing up there. Come on, kill it, there we go. Get this box, hopefully get some ammo or something. Oh man, okay, so let's see if we can't at least get ourselves a few more kills before we die. We got 39 health, no armor, and no way to get additional health yet. Unless there's something in that box. Okay. There's a robot, you need to die. Okay, there's more stuff. Oh man, there's just stuff everywhere. Oh boy. Okay. Another robot. Okay, robot. You're dead. Yeah, I think we, uh... We are nearing the end of our line here. 
Wow. Got another robot. Wow, there's just so many robots. Okay. Now let's see if we can't uh, clear out just a little bit what's down here. What is that noise? It's a creepy noise. Okay. All right, let's just make our way down the stairs and see what else is down there. Another machine. That might be helpful. All right, we got a few more baddies. Oh boy, man, there's stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh, okay, run, 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 run. Nothing like getting pounced on from behind. Okay. Yeah, I guess we just have to keep heading on downstairs. Oh, here's an upstairs area, and there's a guy on the ceiling. Yep, we don't have ammo for it, though, for our laser. And we don't have enough money for anything else either. Oh my gosh. What? I thought I killed the people down there. Mm. Okay, what is this? An elevator? Okay. Let's check it out. Oh, there's a door. Where'd that door go to? Oh, here's probably where the bunch of baddies came out of. That whole train of them. Nope. Door doesn't work. Well, we have 15 health. Zero armor. We are about to die. What is up, man? Come on. Guess we'll go upstairs. Wow, look at all those guys. Here they come. Oh my gosh, I get stuck behind the debris on the ground. That's not cool. So there's so many there's so many baddies on the ground that sometimes it's hard to see the ones that come that are alive. Okay, so where are we gonna go? I'm just afraid we're gonna get ambushed. Yeah, we got seven health left, zero armor, and no money to buy anything. Okay. Wow. Okay, run. Run, forest. Oh my gosh, we got the shooting, shooting dude. Oh. I got three health. Oh my gosh. Run. Jump. Run. <laughs> Holy smoke. Wow, what are we gonna do? Okay, now we got really cornered. See if we can shoot around the corner or something. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Look at that rate of fire. Bam! Bam! Oh my gosh. There's no way to get around the corner. Well, that sucks. Uh, let's see. Can we somehow just kind of peek? Peek around the corner and shoot him. No. Oh no! Oh, darn it! Well, that was the end of that run. Well, it wasn't too bad. 107 kills in 27 minutes. Yeah, it's just fun, a little time waster. Anyway, that was it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you really like my content. Hit the subscribe button. Always cool. We'll catch you next time in another episode of whatever I decide to play. Catch you later. Bye.